All right, Madam Rajave, distinguished guests, supporters of a free democratic Iran, my name is David Phillips, and along with my wife Dawn and daughter Sarah, we're honored to be here with you today. And I want to especially thank those dedicated people listening right now at Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty. You are the vanguard of freedom. I am one of the few people that can say I not only lived at Camp Ashraf for over a year, I also lived at Camp Liberty for over a year. But when I was there, we had running water, we had recreation facilities, we had shade. We also had freedom of movement. Unfortunately, that's not the case now. What part of protected person isn't understood? It sure is quite clear to me because the card, the protected person identity card that's carried by the 3,400 people at Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty, it spells it out. And in 2004, before anyone was issued those cards, one was issued to me. This is the first time I've publicly shown I have card number zero with my name and face on it so that I would never forget the promise we made to the other 3,400 people who received these cards after me. And I will carry this card until they are all out of harm's way. And the card doesn't say the person's a terrorist. It doesn't say they're a detainee. It doesn't say they're an insurgent. It says the bearer of this card is a protected person under the agreement of the Fourth Geneva Convention. A short time ago, I sat in a courtroom and had to restrain myself as I heard my soldiers and myself denigrated by an attorney who said we didn't do our job at Camp Ashraf. And I listened as he said, the soldiers there never fully inspected. They never found any of the weapons that were there, and they were denied access to certain areas. Well, let me tell you, it was my responsibility to conduct those searches. And I used this very map to ensure that every square meter of Camp Ashraf was inspected. <laughs> and how thoroughly was it inspected? I had to bet the life of my soldiers and myself on it because we lived at Camp Ashraf. That is how thoroughly it was inspected. If the government thinks that's not good enough, go live at Ashraf for a while. And one day, if someone claims they show up at Ashraf and they found weapons, my response is, yeah, when did you hide them there? Thank you.